All right, g'day everyone. Today we're going to go through something that's been requested a lot, and that is how to code the uh, X drive or holonomic drive on the VEX IQ. Uh, now I've done this tutorial for VEX V5, and uh, that's where I've been pointing a lot of my, uh, my uh, fans who have been asking this question, but I'll, I'll do it for VEX IQ as well, just to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Now, the first thing we got to notice is that on our um, controller, uh, the X axis for your left stick is uh, called the, oops, sorry, excuse me, is called the B direction, all right? The X axis is the B direction, um, and then the Y axis is the A direction, okay? The Y axis is the A direction. Uh, and then on the right of the controller, the x-axis is the C direction. All right. Uh, and that's what we're going to use, okay? Um, but if you want to change the way you drive, um, you're going to have to use um, the principles that I'm going to teach today and then modify it for, for your uh, controller um, approach, okay? But today, we're going to use our left stick to uh, control the forward, backwards, and then strafing on the left and right direction. And then we're going to use our right stick, uh, but only the X axis, to control the turning, the yaw angle, the yaw direction, okay? So uh, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, and um, I believe it is similar to flying an actual drone. Uh, yeah, so uh, this should be um, uh, very familiar for people who have flown a drone. Um, uh, but if you want to change the com uh, controller layout, make sure that you use the principles and uh, adapt it for your own purposes. Okay. All right. So um, uh, I don't have a robot with me today because I am traveling. Uh, it is the summer holidays. But what we need to do is we need to add your four motors for your holonomic drive, for your X drive. Um, as individual motors. So here, we're gonna add a motor. Uh, let's say it was port one, and we go forward, left. And then, for your forward and reverse, you gotta make sure that um, uh, forward, the forward direction, so th this is the um, anti-clockwise direction, is where uh, when when that particular motor spins uh, anti-clockwise, that actually is moving your robot forward, okay? If it's not, if it's, for example, attached to a gear or something like that, you might need to reverse it, okay? So you triple check the forward direction of the motor. But don't worry if you make a mistake. If you make a mistake, you just have to come back onto the screen uh, and then reverse it afterwards. So for, for today's lesson, I'm gonna make it so that your left motors, I'm assuming that you don't have a gear ratio, you're uh, attaching your motors directly onto the wheel, so that on the left side of your motors, they are normal, but then on the right side, they are reversed, okay? Forward left, so port one. Rear left, is that port two. Uh, and again, the left side, I'm going to keep it uh, normal so that when the motor is spinning anti-clockwise, the robot wheels on the left side are moving forwards. Uh, and then I'm going to go forward right. And for forward right, because it's on the opposite side, I'm going to reverse the motors. That means that when I'm spinning the forward right motor clockwise, the forward right wheel will be moving forward on the robot. And then finally on port four, I'm going to go rear right, and then that's also reversed. Okay, so the rear right uh, motor, when that's spinning clockwise, uh, then that rear right, right wheel will be also moving forward. It's done. Okay, so now we have all of our uh, motor set. Now it's very tempting now to create, um, you know, uh, uh, a, a four motor drivetrain. Okay, if you do that, then you won't get the benefits of uh, the holonomic drive, which lets you strafe from left to right 
Um, uh, and that's really important. <laughs> so that is why we're setting it up with four motors, okay? Now, uh, remember the x-axis of the control, I'm uh, sorry, the y-axis of our controller, in order to test the robot so that it is moving forwards and backwards, we need to know that the, um, the forward direction of the motor, forward, uh, up and down direction of the left stick is direction A. Okay, keep that in mind, direction A. So, no, we just go done, we'll hide this screen. Then we're going to do a forever loop. Uh, so this is the holonomic X drive code. Um, and for this, we're going to spin all four motors forward. Okay. Forward left, rear left, forward right, rear right, forward. Okay. But we're going to set the speed to be whatever our A axis is. So we set forward left velocity to uh, our controller A position. You see that? Controller A position, uh, forward left, oops, whoops, and then we've got to do the same thing for the other three motors, forward left, rear left, forward right, rear right, okay. And then, um, at this point, you should be able to save your code and run it on your robot. And as long as you have set your motor directions correctly, then all four motors will um, make your robot move forward and backwards when you move your left stick up and down. Okay? Because... We're making it so that all four motors, they're only responding to the controller A position, which reminding you, it is the Y axis. Okay, the Y axis. All right, if any of the motors are not spinning the correct position, correct direction, uh, you go back onto your devices, find the motor that's not spinning in the right direction, and then you flip it from normal to reverse or from reverse to normal. That's all you have to do. And that's step one. So pause this video right now and test it. Do not wait until the end of the video because if you wait until the end of the video and something goes wrong, you won't know which step uh, you actually uh, went wrong in. Okay. Now that is just for, um, uh, for moving it forwards and backwards. Now what about... Um, uh, left and right, okay? So the controller B position, we've got to somehow add the controller B position in. Um, so for controller B position, we need to now add um, uh, a sum of our controller A and B positions because when for controller B position, when it is positive, it is moving towards the right and when it is negative, it is moving towards the left. Okay, for controller B position or the X axis of your left stick, when we are going positive, then for the front left motor, we need it to also be going positive. If I am just, um, uh, and I, uh, because yeah, the front left has to also go forward. So it means that we just go to operators and then we go add a plus because if I want to go to the right which is when p controller B is positive then front left motor wheel also needs to be going positive or going forward All right so that's why I add it if it was not going forward if it was going negative then I would um, make that minus okay what about the rear left? Rear left will actually need to go backwards in order to go right. So it will be a negative, uh, it will be minus. 
controller A position minus controller B position. What about the front right? Front right will also be going backwards in order to go to the right. Yeah. Um, some of this I go past really quickly. Okay. Um, if you don't understand it, you might need to like pause the video and then re-listen to what I said. <laughs> but uh, I know it can be a bit confusing, but it will make sense as long as um, your coach is watching this video um, so that they understand it as well. Uh, and then uh, he or she will probably be able to explain it to you some more. Uh, the rear right um, uh, wheel will need to go forwards when the robot is going to the right. Okay, this is a holonomic drive. And remember, this all only works if you did that first step and the robot was moving forwards and backwards with the left stick. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay, uh, and then we go like this. Whoops. So, because for the rear right wheel, uh, oh, it's not minus, it is plus. It needs to go forwards. Remember? Nobody reminded me. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, if you pause this video now, and you use this code, and then you download it to your brain and test it, your left stick should now control everything uh, going forwards, backwards, left and right. So your robot should be doing this nice crab walk. Uh, if it is not working uh, that, uh, at this point, but it was working before, it may be because um, uh, these positives and negatives got flipped around, yeah. uh, which is... Um, which could happen. Uh, if that happens, let's identify which motor uh, was not correctly moving on your robot, and then you flip the positive to a negative or a negative to a positive on that motor, but only if it was working before. Okay, that's why it's really important to take this step by step. All right, but what about motor um, C position? I mean, controller C. Controller C is the left and right axis the, the x-axis of the right stick. Um, and for the right stick, what happens is that when it goes positive, so controller C position, what happens when controller C position goes positive? If controller C position goes positive, then you are turning your robot to the right, or you want to turn your robot to the right. So, if you want to turn your robot to the right when this is going positive, what happens to your forward left motor? It also has to go forward. Because if you want your robot to turn to the right, it's like a tank move. The left side will both need to add your control C position. And then the right side motors will both want to minus control C position. Okay, so this is nice and easy. All you have to do is go plus control C on all of your left side positions, on all of your left side um, um, code. See? Control C, duplicate. So on your left side, we are adding controller C, but on your right side, forward right and rear right, we are removing, you're decreasing by controller C. Okay, so here, decreasing my controller C. Decreasing my controller C. And that's it. 
Okay, I'll also have this code up on GitHub, uh, and the link will be in the description below, um, so that you can test out your X drive. Remember, it is really important to have this done step by step. Okay, so that uh, you always create um, all four of your motors as individual motors. And then what you have to do is uh, test it with your forward and back movements first, make sure all the motors are going in the right direction. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, make sure you post it in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, I'm pretty confident that this is going to work for your robot as long as you followed it step by step. Now, what about autonomous? Autonomous for X-Drive holonomic drive is so, so good because uh, if you're able to control um, the forward and back and left and right uh, and the rotational directions of your robot, autonomous is beautiful and uh, it makes it really stable and uh, really um, easy to score high marks. But I'm gonna create uh, the advanced autonomous coding video uh, for members only. So if you want access to the autonomous code uh, for controlling your your holonomic drive or X drive robot, then uh, you can join our uh, channel membership by uh, clicking on the join button below, and then you will get access to the video on how to create autonomous code for a holonomic drive. And that's it for us today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.